as much as I'd like to pretend here on YouTube that I am a perfect programmer and don't make any mistakes, that would be completely false. And if you've seen any of my full stack projects or anything like that, you can definitely see that I make some mistakes from time to time, but we get the job done at the end of the day. So today I want to cover a mistake that I made when I first started using client and server components here in Next.js, and that is related to the use client directive. So I get it, guys. Like, it's not super easy once you start working with this kind of new mental model of Next.js with client and server components to always understand the distinction between a client and server component and when you should make something a client component when you shouldn't. But generally speaking, it's probably a good idea if you can keep as much as possible server components and pre-rendering your components on the server and then just shipping those components to the client when when needed and i think one mistake that can happen is like i just have the mpx create next at latest template application here and then in the terminal i ran npm run dev so this is just the template Next.js application. All I did was change JS to JSX here in the file extension for the root page, basically because I like this, this icon better, the React icon better, better than the JavaScript one. But regardless of that pointless distinction, this is just a basic template Next.js project. And here we have this homepage and you can see this homepage right here running on logos, but what if I want to add a button to this page? And for the sake of this example, let's just have this button council log something. So let's add a button here. And then I'm going to say log to the console. And then here we will do on click is equal to a function that is just going to console.log. Uh, logging something so we're just handling an on click for this button to log something to the console now what's the problem with this within this server component and remember within the app router which is what we're using right here this is going to default to a server component unless we use the use client directive here at the top of the file so this is a server component well I'm sure you know what's going on here. We can't have event handlers passed to client component props, or we have a server component, but we are trying to handle an event within a server component, which is impossible because it needs to be within a client component to actually handle events. So one way that we can fix this, and this is kind of the mistake here, is just making this entire page a client component and then we see it's now a client component if i open up my console here and i click log to console you see it logs something but i mean in this example it's not a big deal because we literally just have a single single page and we're not really worried about any performance issues or anything like that but if we had a very large application and we just end up making everything a client component well that's going to kind of defeat the purpose of having both client and server components and getting some of those benefits of server rendering some of your components. So this is a mistake that I was making early on. I was, I was just making too much stuff, client components, when I could have easily prevented that with just making kind of more isolated components. So what I mean by that is instead of just putting this button right in here, what we can do is just make this button its own client component and then pass that into or render that within this server component here. So here we can go new folder. I like to just create a components folder and then I will say console button.jsx and then I will just take this button right here, I'll command X and I'll remove that line, go over to my console button and 
That's actually not what I want to do. Command Z. I want to export a default function, console, button, and then I want to return this button right here. And we also want to make this a client component here because we are handling this event right here. Now, within our page.jsx, where we used to have that button, we can just render our console button. And then since that's a client component in of itself, we can remove this use client directive. So all of this code here is still going to get server rendered and, you know, get the benefits of server rendering. But then we're basically just kind of leaving this slot open right here to slot in this client component. So we only have one kind of small little component here that's going to be a client component. Everything else is going to be server rendered. So if we come back, we see I refresh, I have no errors. If I open the console, I should be able to still see logging something here. So the, the TLDR here is that one common mistake when using client and server components is just kind of taking the easy path of making an entire page a client component when in reality, you can just take that client logic abstract it out into its own component or pull it out into its own component. I don't know why I was getting fancy with saying abstract it out, but pull it into its own client component. And then you can use that client component within your server component and still get the benefits of kind of this client and server model. So hopefully this quick video kind of helped you out and, uh, you know, kind of explained a mistake that's pretty easy to make when using kind of the newer Next.js. So thanks for tuning into this and I'll see you in that next one.